All right, just want to make a quick video here. Um, so I just watched these two videos on Zachary K. Hubbard's channel. Um, pretty interesting stuff about November 26th and Thanksgiving also today, November 26th. It all ties into the Antioch theater shooting, which interesting. I talked about the theater shooting in Lafayette before being the same day Gregorian to Julian. So it was they were both pretty much on the same day. We've talked about the theater shootings and how it ties into Abraham Lincoln, right? And then it all leads up to the assassination of Obama. So come check these out. Lots of really great information in them. Uh, just don't want to re-explain it all. But I also had a message here in my comments that said, uh, if I've seen the names of Obama's pardoned turkeys, and he pardoned turkeys yesterday, but he named them Honest and Abe. And I thought, I mean, I don't know that much about it, and I thought maybe every year they, you know, maybe this is not the first year they did it. Maybe they have, like, whatever. Maybe every year it has something to do with the history of Thanksgiving, and that's why they name them, because Abraham Lincoln is the reason that we celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. He made it a national holiday. Um, I believe it was changed again by Eisenhower. But moral of the story just interesting the names and if you go and you actually look at the national thanksgiving turkey presentation it tells you all the names down here or at least from clinton on up and i mean last year it was mac and cheese has nothing to do with the history of the united states you know what i mean so popcorn and caramel cobbler gobbler so just interesting this year i've mentioned abraham lincoln stuff over and over and over and now these turkeys are named uh, Abe and Honest, Honest Abe. Interesting, if you come up and read about the history, it talks uh, clear back to Harry Truman, but it says the first president on record issuing a pardon was Ronald Reagan, and he named it Charlie, which Charlie adds up to 56. We've talked about Charlie Sheen. Paris, France adds up to 56. ISIS adds up to 56. Osama bin Laden adds up to 56. Saddam Hussein adds up to 56. Adolf Hitler adds up to 56. I mean, it is a lot of 56 references. Two and a half men equals 56. Um, tons of stuff. So interesting name. The first one we pardoned is even Charlie. Even just had the new Peanuts movie that came out, Charlie Brown. If Queen Elizabeth dies, uh, Prince Charles will become the new king. You mentioned lots of stuff with us. But... Uh, also, all the, like, Kyle Busch just won, and Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch were both out in NASCAR in the, early in the season this year, and they were both replaced by Reagans. One of them, so as the Bushes, replaced the Reagans, kind of weird. Also, one of them was even born on September 23rd, uh, a huge day we've talked about with Pope Francis's visit. He came to the White House at 9.23 in the morning on 9.23. And he came to the United States on his 923rd day as Pope, even. But uh, as you're reading up here, it talks about President JFK spontaneously spared a turkey on November 18, 1963, just four days before his assassination. I mean, very interesting. So JFK uh, didn't technically pardon one, but he spared a turkey four days before his assassination. We've talked a lot about Obama being assassinated. And interesting, I've mentioned how it all codes into Philadelphia. There's been lots of like 333 and 21 coding and a lot of things leading back to Philadelphia. And Philadelphia is 333 years old this year. Uh, and then November 29th, I've talked about a lot because it's the 333rd day of the year. And it's also 33 days after the 333rd anniversary of Philadelphia. Interesting, though, if you type in in Gematria here, Obama assassinated on Thanksgiving. It adds up to 333. So who knows, just maybe that's what the whole uh, Philadelphia coding was all about, just because of this number, the 333. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I just found that pretty interesting. Especially considering JFK also died four days after sparing a turkey, and that was also 52 years ago. This is the 239th year of the United States. The 52nd prime is 239. 
lots of connections with the 52 and 239 this year. But also today's date, if you write it out as words, November 26, 2015. It adds up to 506. If you take out the zero, it's just like 56. Remember the Paris attacks were 13 days ago. So today, 1126, uh, Gregorian is also the same as um, 1113 on the Julian calendar. So literally the Paris attacks happened. If you convert them, it would be Halloween, the Paris attacks, and then Thanksgiving. So very interesting that November 26th, 2015 would add up to something even similar to 56. Also on this bird it says with the JFK thing, the bird was wearing a sign reading, Good Eaton, Mr. President. And they even quote the Good Eaton, or whatever, Good Eaton, Mr. President. If you put Good Eaton, Good Eaton is 45 and 90, interesting. This is Valentine's Day, uh, a lot of stuff with that, but Good Eaton adds up to 90. And the interesting thing about 90 is if you add up 90, it adds up to 87 and 33, like the highest degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Also, the word 87 adds up to 58 and 139, just like the word Freemasonry. And not to mention that it says that the presentation of the turkey began under Harry Truman, who was the 33rd president. Also, you know, he was the atomic bomb guy, whatever. And that happened in 1945, so just back to this, the 45 that I was talking about, um, with good eating adds up to 45. Plutonium is also plutonium 239. Interesting, you know, because of the 239 years of the United States. Also, you just had Turkey shoot down the Russian plane. Just a lot of big things coming up, definitely. Or just totally seems like that with the coding. Um, one other thing I never pointed out was uh, if uh, JFK died four days or did this four days before he was assassinated and Obama pardoned the turkey yesterday on the 25th if you add four days to that it takes you to November 29th with the day with 333 days left also found interesting the the pounds of the two turkeys, Abe and Honest. On here it says 43 and 42. On the article I read earlier, it said 42 pounds for both of them. So who knows what exactly it is. But if it is 43 and 42, that's pretty interesting because 43, Civil War even equals 43. But uh, 43 plus 42 then, the total pounds would be 85. If you go watch Zach's video... He even mentions the Antioch shooting that it was on 8-5. Also, I just made a video on the Chilean miners, um, and that based because of the movie The 33 that came out the same day as the Paris attacks, and they were first trapped on the date of 8-5-2010. If it is 42 at 42, that's still interesting. I mean, 42 is a number surrounded by black people. February equals 42, the only month to do so. Nigger adds up to 42. I mean, it's even coded with the 59, lots of stuff with it um, that I've mentioned before, but 42 plus 42 is also 84. Obama was even born on 84. His name in Jewish Gematria even adds up to 84. Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope. Jesuit adds up to 84, just like United States of America adds up to 84. It also mentions Mr. President in there, good eating, Mr. President. Uh, just going to end it here, but Mr. President adds up to 141. Uh, Thanksgiving adds up to 141. Halloween adds up to 41. Like I said, it all ties back into the Paris attacks as well. Even Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones adds up to 41 even. Also, another thing I just noticed. Um, talked a lot about this, the iPet Goat 2 movie. Um, and Obama winks at 106, which 106... October 6th would be the same as 923 Gregorian to Julian. But uh, later on, like another 50 seconds or something, the building falls and collapses or whatever after he winks. But interesting, I took 10-6, and then I went to 1129, the 333rd day of the year, and it adds up to 50, or it's, it's 54 days apart, and 54 is all surrounded on the chalkboard in here. Um, 
dealing with the letters and whatnot, the missing letters. It even says uh, love or ev evil evolution, love backwards. Love is 54, adds up to 54. Evil is the mirror or whatever. So who knows exactly what's to come. Um, definitely a lot of foreshadowing though. Just felt like I should point that out. But uh, yeah, I guess, like I said, we'll see what happens. Um, have a good Thanksgiving.